Ow! That was nowhere near as graceful as I was hoping. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So this is where I ended up on the fishbowl. So I'm not crazy happy about it, but it's it's a relatively small scale fishbowl. I'd have to go, I think, much larger. And I think it works. I think it fits here. And we've got conduit down there, so I can go down in the water and spend all the time down here I want. I can go fight the drowns and whatnot if I want, or just hang out. And my night vision should improve. Look, a big window. So let's show you where I ended up on the, the basic design. Walk in, and then there's, you're underwater, but you're, you've are you got the conduit power, so. And you've also got the beacon, which is over there. You can't see when you're in the water. Beacon, boop. So you come over here, you come down here, blah, come on. And then we're down inside. Look at that. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the uh, the shop in here, and I, I put this these windows, and I replaced the glass with blue, and then I put. Why am I getting particles there? It's a little weird. Um, and then you go up by going here, up, and then you can leave. There we go. Uh, so anyway, it's a stupid little thing. I have some stuff in my pocket. Plop. I have tridents and I've repaired some of these tridents up. So some of these are, um, <clears throat> so th th these have like impaling and uh, loyalty on them. So they're good sort of fighting tridents. And then this has, these are the same, but they've got channeling on them. Um, and then I have some other books. I have some Riptide books. I need to combine these into a Riptide 3. And this is going to be expensive. I need a, I need a better villager for the Riptide. Uh, so we're not going to mess with that for the time being. But my goal is, and I hadn't really thought about some of this too much. So I this is a shop. And I want to put down some chests with some... Uh, with some tridents in it, these fixed up tridents, and then these sort of broken down tridents, and uh, and sort of set a price. The fixed up tridents are they really need to be expensive because it takes a lot of time, effort, and material to uh, to fix them up, and a lot of trips into the gold farm in the in the Nether uh, to get the XP. To pay for all of the combining and everything. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, I need some chests. I forgot to bring some chests and I need some signs. And I think we should still have some wood over here. A little bit. I don't need too much stuff. So let's see what we can do here. And then we'll we'll get going. So for the ceiling in here, I use this cut sandstone block, which is new with 1.13. It has a nice, the bottom of it is, is nice looking. It has a nice and somewhat smooth, but still not flat texture. And then it, and it matches the texture of the sandstone stairs. So that works pretty well. These are all waterlogged. So there's no air gaps up there. I don't know how many of these blocks down here are actual source blocks, but kind of doesn't matter as long as you walk around a bit. And I had to make sure that these were all source blocks in order to create the bubble columns. The only downside of doing this like this, and I haven't really figured out a good way around it, is, uh, ow, you ostensibly take damage on the magma block when you come down, but if you have any even like one piece of uh, fire protection armor on, it doesn't actually do you any damage. Now, I don't know, it might actually be damaging the armor. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Um, 
So, I have stuff now. Let's eat. Oh, it did eventually do me some damage. Interesting. So, I haven't really figured out. This is the shop. You come down here. And uh, I must have gone into swimming mode there. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do this. I wonder if that's a bug. What happens if I go into the upper bu bubble column? Huh. Okay. Okay. So, oh, and when you're going down, if you just push forward, once you get into the hole, you end up out of it. So the question is, I have chests here, and I'm thinking right now I need three. And I don't know if I just put... I could put them in here in the middle... I can put them along the sides. I don't know. I haven't decided where to put the chest with the wares. Um, and I want to put them right against the glass here because I want people to be able to come up and do that. I could put them along on the, the terracotta here. So, like, if I put down a couple here. Let's pick this up for the moment. Blop. And I have leaving a gap here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I put down two space, two space, two, that would work, right? Okay. And I can't tell. Are these just not waterlogged? That is correct. There we go. See, and they look perfectly normal sitting under here, and you can open them and everything. Cool. And then I'll put... Um, Maybe signs up. So these will be my little fixed up uh, tridents. So I'm going to put combat tridents. I think I have three of them. Blop, blop, blop. Oh, that's a little dangerous. I don't want to get confused with my. Although mine is named. I did not name these. At this point, they'd be very expensive to name. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to space them out a little bit. And I need to let people know what the price is, so we're going to do this. And I haven't... I don't know. Plonk. Can this be waterlogged? No. Interesting. Okay, so... <clears throat> let me name this. And I want these to be expensive because I haven't added up what it actually takes me. But it takes a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of XP and the trident itself. So I almost want to say 64 diamonds. One stack diamonds each. And go put that in here. And hopefully people understand how this works. So here, one stack diamonds each. Try to try to try it in. Oh, large chest. Is there a way of renaming that? Okay, so then these will be these guys. Channeling. And I almost want to make these... These should be more expensive because they are more expensive. I got an idea. One stack of diamonds each. Plop. And then these. Huh. I don't know. I'm just making this up. One half stack. Okay, we'll try that. And then these will be broken down tridents. And we, whoops. I should come up with a funny name for these, like organic tridents. Or <clears throat> and these, I don't... The, this is the easiest part. This just takes a little bit of time. So we could do... If they want to make their own... 
I can just say one diamond each. Not that I'm expecting to have large business here. So these are get my get my anvil and get my tridents. <clears throat> and so these are I'm gonna need another sign. So these are combat tridents. So we'll do this right here. Put it um I don't know. What side? Here. This can be waterlogged, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And then these are channeling tridents. And then these are fixer upper tridents. Farm fresh, as it were. Okay. So there we go. We got tridents. Tridents for sale. Okay, I need another sign to put outside so people know what this is. Combat tridents, blah, blah, blah. So these all have loyalty to impaling on them. And these also have channeling. Channeling could be dangerous if you're if you're just going to be throwing them around, but they have loyalty and impaling on them as well. These do. So these were expensive to make. These were also pretty darn expensive, but not quite as bad. And then these, I just farm them up, and I've got a bunch more. So we'll see what happens. People can easily make their own. They can go into the villager farm and come up with their own. I don't know how long since I've slept. I need to be a little careful. Okay, let me go get another sign. Bang Splats Trident Shop. Shoppy. Okay, there we go. We are now open for business. This is very cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't really have a way of getting out of the top, but there we go. Whoa. Interesting. Anyway. So here we go. That's the Trident Shop finished up. And uh, we have the thing out there. So next, I want to do some decorating. So let me go get some supplies. Let me sleep away the night. Although it's going to be morning shortly. And uh, let me get some supplies. So we never took down the Christmas tree from what I built last year. Um, and it's getting to be Christmas time again, so good. There's there's a Christmas tree. I don't have to build it. Oh, and whoa, ha! That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so I now have bones from which I can make bone meal, and let's go uh, decorate things. I want to be able to stand down here, look out this window, and see stuff. As if this were 113 generated ground. That's probably a little denser than it really needs to be. Um, but I'm going to do this just to sort of decorate it up a little bit. Instead of uh, terraforming, we're kind of aquaforming. I should grab this clay. Plop. Plop. There we go. So that when you're standing in here and you look out, it looks kind of natural. Missing some stuff over here. And we don't have to go too much around here, but may as well. I've got the bone meal. So let's let's uh, bone meal this up a bit. Got the bone meal, and we have underwater breathing thanks to the conduit. So we may as well decorate all this up. It gives us a source of uh, seagrass, too, if we decide we need it for some reason. Oh, wow, seagrass grows on stone. I did not know that. 
thought it was just like dirt and gravel and such. There we go. Now, this underground area. What was that? Oh, hello, Mr. Dolphin. How are you? Yeah, I decided not to try and lure a dolphin into the fishbowl because they will die, and I don't want that. Open up. Hello. We can make this look a little more natural. Come on. So there we go. All right. So. Oh, we got lots of dolphins going on here. We got salmon. We got cod. It'd be nice if we had some other fishies. And I was kind of thinking the window underground there be kind of interesting to try and turn that into an aquarium of sorts get some tropical fish in there I definitely want to build a aquarium with tropical fish I have some but I need to go on a on a little journey to get more um, but it would be nice to get some tropical fish and and have some in a an aquarium to sort of look at and and uh, I appreciate and enjoy. Plop. Okay. So we got seagrass. That might be a bit much. We could always trim it back a little bit. But this area looks a little bit more natural with this, don't you think? Oh wow. Come on. It grew it grew inside. <laughs> okay. Next step. I need, I need to, uh, hang on. Let me go get some more stuff. So another thing I want to add down here is I want to add a little bit of light. Uh, I have these sea pickles and I want to like bury them down here in places where they're not necessarily going to be seen. Um, so I want it to be kind of ambient atmospheric lighting. Although with the... With the conduit power, you know, this isn't necessary, but when you're standing up above, yeah, okay. So I want to do some of that. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to plant some kelp and have it grow up. I don't want as, don't want as much of the kelp as the seagrass, but we do want some. And it'll grow up and be nice and tall. Plop. And hey, it'll be a source of kelp if we want to harvest. Make a little kelp farm, manual kelp farm. Um, and this will be a good place for some more sea pickles, I think. All right. And the pickles will help with keep the drowns from spawning so much around here. I think that's the that's part of the active theory at least. Loop. And then just over time, this will all look like an overgrown thing. And then I do want to like this. All of this, I want at least grass growing. Uh, it's so funny on dirt and and generated stuff in the overworld. Spend so much time clearing out the grass because it's a little obnoxious, but um, and it looks a little messy. But underwater, it seems to help make it just. It gives life, and so when you got when you got the the fish swimming around and you got the kelp and the grass growing. I could I think it helps. It kelps. <laughs> no, it, it helps quite a bit. So there we go. So we're just we'll just decorate this up a little bit. Let me get my my silk touch shovel. I am gonna harvest this clay because it's just sitting here. And it's there's no good way of getting it other than just running around and like 
river biomes and swamps and stuff. So when you see a cache of it like this, you need to do something about that. I'll take you. There we go. Blump. And there's a couple blocks of stuff up here. Oh, look, the lighting with the pickles. Oh, nice. So we'll put some more pickles down, like put some right here. Oh, neat. Yeah, it gives it a nice little atmosphere, doesn't it? Nice. Okay. Oh, more clay. All right. So, oh, and this kelp is already starting to grow. Okay, so where I got the clay from over here, we need to fix this up a little bit because we want a little... Hey. Ah. Ah, wow. Okay, so we've got... Let's see here. Some dirt. Some dirt. Some dirt. Do I have any sand? No. Uh, okay, well, let's... Let's uh, bone meal this at least, cover some of it up, and we can plant some more kelp. Plant kelp right there. Cool. Oh, that looks really neat and sort of moody and atmospheric. I like that you can control light levels with the sea pickles by how many you put down. I'm putting four down. Oh, there's another batch of clay. Oh, I think that's cool. So let's let's see what that looks like from inside. When you first get in. Is that an air bubble? Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, so if we come down here. Go down here. Oh. I think that looks pretty cool. The only thing that would be better would be getting some coral and uh, making a small coral reef. That's going to be a little bit painful, but we can do that. Oh, wow. And then the, uh, the sea pickles light up patches of the water on the surface. I don't know that I like that. But there you are. Okay, well that's that's the fishbowl trident shop. Where did I see that other batch of uh, clay? Let's go get that. Oh, right there. That's all I was planning on doing for now. Got some other projects I need to start working on, but that's... Uh, Trident shop is good. I need to spend a lot of time grinding for emeralds. And that could actually be, instead of asking for diamonds, I could just charge people in emeralds. Uh, but I think I think most people on the server have diamonds. Um, and at, at a certain point, honestly, you kind of, you know, you only need so many. <laughs> It's, uh, because once you get, especially with the mending enchant, once you get, you know, a complete set of armor and weapons and tools, you don't necessarily need many more diamonds. Uh, it used to be more, it used to be more so when you had to repair stuff, but not really an issue anymore. Okay, I may have overdone that, but we could always thin this out a little bit if we need to. I think it looks pretty cool. It would be nice if, in addition to the sea pickles, there were other underwater vegetation, like flowers and things like that. I can't think of any real-world examples of underwater vegetation, but it would be kind of cool if you could decorate with a little bit more stuff like that. But I think that's going to do it for now. Um, this is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I thank you for watching. And next time we will get started on other stuff. But as I said for now, I gotta go 
grind a bunch of emeralds and so I can make more tr make more tridents. There we go. All right, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.